Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jules and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to set up a sponge forage workspace using IntelliJ. So first things first, obviously is what you want to do is have IntelliJ installed. But once you have it pulled up like what I have here, you'll see that your, your recent projects are going to be here. Now, if you just installed IntelliJ, you're not going to have any projects here, but because I already have it installed and I'm actually using it, I have a project called single pixel that I'm working on, but we don't need to worry about that. We don't even need to create a new project first what we want to do is actually go down here to configure and click on plugins now here we're going to search for minecraft and then this should pop up minecraft development now i already have it installed so for me it says uninstall but what you want to do is install the plugin and click ok so once you have the plugin installed you're going to create a new project and then on this left hand side you're going to see a couple of options that you have, but we're going to want to click on Minecraft and make sure Java 1.8 is selected. And then to set up a sponge forge workspace, we just need to select sponge and forge. Click next, make sure the option where it says you're using both APIs are being used. Click next. And then now we're going to set up our group ID. So our group ID is usually com dot your first name and last name. If you don't own a website, if you do own a website, you're still going to start with the ending of it. So whether it's .net, .com, .org, you're going to start off with that. So it's going for me, I have a website called JulesLabrador.com. So we're going to go to, we're going to type in com.JulesLabrador. And then your artifact ID is going to be the name of your plugin. Now, I don't recommend using spaces in here just in case uh, any problems are, come up in the future. So for here, we're going to call it uh, setting up sponge forge workspace click next so here the plugin is actually going to choose the settings up top for us it's going to choose a forge version uh, an mtp version and a sponge api version and so what i found is that we actually need a description an author and a website so for the description we'll, we'll call it a um, tutorial for setting up a sponge Forge Oops. workspace uh, authors will be me, so Jules Labrador, and my website. I'm just going to link my website to here, and then click Enter, click Next, and then so now we'll set up a a project name. I'll call it Sponge Forge Workspace, and then click Enter. So I'll put my window in full screen. So right now it's setting up the project. It's making sure that everything's in order as well as setting up Gradle. And so Gradle is actually being done for us using this plugin. So we don't have to do anything with that. So I'm gonna let this run in the background and I'll get back to you guys as soon as it's done. Okay, so now it's done importing everything. So after that's happened, this window is going to pop up and this is allowing us to make sure that Sponge is actually being imported. Both Sponge and Forge actually are being imported into our project. So make sure this box here is selected, use auto import. That way everything is automatically imported for us. Again, make sure you're using Java 1.8 and then click OK. Oops. There you go. It looks like I didn't have, yeah, weird. Anyways, so what this is doing now is it's downloading and installing into our project, both Sponge and Forge. And you see it didn't take too long. But now if you look into our build.gradle, everything here is being used. Cool. Well, that's all for the video. You've successfully set up both a Sponge Forge workspace. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments below as I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. If you liked the video, please leave a like or if, it found, if you found it informative or helpful in any way, also leave a like. I uh, really appreciate that and uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.